We've been sharing with you today the story of Mylon MacArthur, the eight-year-old from Cold Lake, Alberta, who uh, was bullied at school because of his long hair. So much so, he cut it off, but not before he made this video. He and his mom are my guests this morning because there are lessons to be learned from this. So here we go as we say good morning to them. Mylon's on the right. Morning, Mylon. Morning. And mom, Tia Marie, on the left. Good morning, mom. Good morning. Now, let me say, Mylon, number one, I'm seeing your new haircut and you look fantastic. But I want to bring up a picture for our viewers here, again, just to give everybody an idea of how long your hair used to be. So there's you from the back, all the way down pretty much to your waist with your long hair. When you had that long hair, Mylon, what happened to you at school? Bullied was um, making me sad and you know, bullied me. And what did they, they sorry, what did they say to you and what did they do, Mylon? They call me a girl. And how did you feel about that? Bad. And what did you think, Mom, as your son? Did you notice things about, about Mylon when he was coming home from school this fall? Um, yes, he was very, 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 very sad and it's, it's a, Still, still quite makes him sad. Well, absolutely, because remind us, Mom, of the cultural significance of long hair for a boy like Mylon. For a boy like Mylon, um, long hair is it's who we are. Um, we've always had long hair. It's, uh, it's our language, and um, it's our, mainly our pride. Tell me a little bit about the story that you want to tell with that video, Mylon, and, 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 and making it what you wanted to do. It's so long, no. Share awareness. Share awareness. Speak louder. Share awareness. Share awareness. <laughs> My hair is who I am. So you're giving some really strong messages there in that video. You know what, Mom? We were just checking the number of views that that has received this week. You're up to 240,000. 240,000 people have seen your messages. Now, what do you think of that? That's, that's incredible. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> because for you, Mom, Tia Maria, what is, what is the lesson of this story for you? Um, the lesson of this is that um, multi, multicultural schools, it's in public schools, need to teach the meaning of our hair. And it doesn't, it doesn't take long to say that boys have long hair and it's okay. And that's, that's the message. And um, the, the purpose of the movie or the video was to show people the effects of bullying and what it does to boys with long hair. Because even though you made the video and you had your mom's support, obviously, Mylon, you decided to cut your hair anyway. Now, why? Because of bullying, baby. Because of Bowling. Because of that, you wanted it to stop. And it, as I said, you look amazing with your new haircut, of course, as you did with your long hair. But what's happened at school? What have the kids been telling you since you cut your hair? They called me a girl. But not now. Not now. What are they telling you now? That's what she's asking you. What do they think about your hair? My long hair or your short hair? hair. Short hair. I like my short hair. Yeah. They like your short hair. Well, hopefully the bullying will stop. But hopefully, Mom, he'll be able to grow it back if it's so important from a cultural standpoint. What do you think? And that's, that's exactly our intention, is to grow it back. And when it grows back, he will be stronger and um, will know how to deal a little bit better when it comes to those, those comments towards his hair. 
Well, may you not hear any comments, Mylon, and uh, Mom, isn't that incredible? Nearly a quarter of a million people getting your message loud and clear and again on our program this morning. Tia Marie, Mylon, thank you for being my guest today. Thank you.